Tons of people rocked the ball this weekend, raising funds and awareness for childhood cancer. MTN's Jonathan Embarian has a closer look at the annual St. Baldrick's fundraiser in Montana City. Barbers were busy Saturday afternoon at the Montana City School gym. For the 12th year, Montana City played host to a St. Baldrick's fundraiser. More than 40 people agreed to have their heads shaved to raise money for childhood cancer research. Ken Kluth, the Montana City volunteer firefighter, started organizing the event after his brother sent him a request for a St. Baldrick's donation. So I said, I can do something better than this. And so I took it to the fire department, and the rest is kind of history. They collected about $5,600 the first year. This year, they've raised more than 40000 The support here is un unparalleled, I believe. On Saturday, organizers honored several Knights of the Bald Table, people who have taken part in St. Baldrick's events for seven years. One of them was 11-year-old James Buchanan, a childhood cancer survivor himself. He was one of a number of volunteers who came in with brightly colored hair to be shaved. Actually, I just want to dye my hair blue oh. because <laughs> my favorite color is blue. James has an easy answer for why he takes part. And then saving kids who have cancer. Another of the new knights was Kelly Delahunt, the year's top fundraiser. He brought in more than $15,000, bringing his total over the years to about 68000 Kelly's a rock star. He, he really is. He is unbelievable. Chances are you've been approached by Kelly for a donation if you live in the valley. <laughs> the event makes clear what it's all about at the table of honored kids, featuring Montana kids who faced cancer. White roses represent lives lost to the disease. Over 12 years, the Montana City event has raised more than $560,000 to help in the fight. Kluth said the support from the local community has made an impression on the St. Baldrick's organization nationwide. When you can get that kind of numbers with that amount of people, that's pretty amazing. In Montana City, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. While the shaving is over, you can still donate to the cause. You can find more information on how to support St. Baldrick's on our website.